Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. It's been several months since I've been able to create videos for my website and for my YouTube site. I've not been on vacation laying on a beach. I've been rather busy. In the past several months I've completed filming, editing, and publishing two DVDs. The first, the 50 best tips for Microsoft Excel 2007, has been selling rather briskly. I just sent in my second DVD, the 50 best tips for Microsoft PowerPoint 2007, to the publisher and that will be released shortly. In today's lesson I'm going to respond to a letter from a viewer. I'm going to show you how to use the count if function and also how to filter data. A viewer writes in, Dear Danny, I really enjoy your videos and they help me out. I'm having some difficulty figuring out something in Excel. I'm making a sign in, sign out sheet for badges for an event. And I want to create a formula that automatically updates how many badges I have left to sign out and how many badges have been taken. If possible, I would like to have it also tell me which badges are removed and which are still available. What are some of the ways I could do this? We want to use the count if function. The count if function is going to say in this range of data, column D, which is yes, they've been claimed, no, they've not been claimed, then return the result when it meets this, meets this criteria, yes. For the unclaimed badges, we use the count if function and say in this range of data, column D, give me the number that meet this criteria. They have the value no. Before I go into the count if function, let's just review the basic count function. In this case, I wanted to see how many badges I have. So I use the count function for the range column A. Now column A is numeric data. So the count function will tell me how many badges I have there. If I had applied that to column B, column C, or column D, which is non-numeric values, I would get a result of zero. So let me show you equals count. Now one thing I like in Excel 2007 is we have formula autocomplete. So when I have my function there I use the tab key it supplies the left parentheses. I continue to use the keyboard shortcut control A. So I want to count the values in this range. I'm going to use non-numeric values the last name over here and I'm going to get a result of zero. So when I use the count function, it gives me a count of numeric values. What I should have used is the count A function. The count A function will count the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So it doesn't matter whether they have numeric or non-numeric values. As long as they're not empty, I'll get a count. All right, now let's go through and show you how to use the count if function to solve our reader's dilemma. We take the range, in this case column D, which has a label of claimed, and the criteria that I want if they've been claimed is yes. For the next cell down, I use the count if function, the same range and the criteria this time no. Now rather than possibly omitting a cell in a range, I prefer to use name ranges in my formulas. So first, let's create a name range. Let's select the cells and give it a name. The easiest way to do that is come over here to the name box and let's call this range claimed and hit enter. All right, now let's use the count if function equals count if use the tab key for the formula autocomplete. This time for the range what I want to include in there, let's use the control A keyboard shortcut. For the range I have a name range. I like to use the keyboard shortcut F3 function 3 here's my name range claimed. So within that range what criteria do I want to have it meet? Yes. I like using the function arguments dialog box because sometimes I forget does it require a double parenthesis, a double quotation mark or not. So when I use this it tells me yes I need it that double quotation mark. So there you go. There we've learned how to use the count if function. Now the reader also asks how many badges have been claimed, how many have not been claimed, but which badges have been claimed, which haven't been claimed. For this we want to use the filter. So let's go on to the data tab and let's choose the filter. 
Now the filter, we select one cell with a structured list. The structured list means that our column headers are clearly identified as being different. I use bold formatting. No blank rows, no blank columns. I have automatic filters here. So when I want to find how many have been not claimed, I select as the filter for no. And there are the badges that have not been yet claimed. If I want to see the badges that have been claimed, I apply the filter criteria, yes, and there you go. And now when I want to remove the filter, I just say remove or clear the filter. So there you've learned how to use the COUNTIF function to tell you how many uh, values in a range meet the criteria. And we also use the filter to tell us exactly which badges have been claimed, which badges have not been claimed. I'll see you in the next lesson.